Something got out the way. Does everybody know where we are? Up the river. Very good. So get, we all have little cups. And everybody gets a cup. I think we have enough crowd for everybody to get one, I hope. Alright. So what we're gonna do, every station has a net like this. Okay. And what we're gonna do is, and I'll show you here, I'm gonna demonstrate to y'all here in a second. We're gonna take this net in the water and I'm gonna need two people to hold it. So one person will hold it. I grew up doing this and I grew up, my dad took me out to the streams and stuff, but part of my life growing up was being outdoors and, and being around the natural environment. But it's important, I think, for our students to understand the natural side of this thing too, and to be to experience that. Um, it's just great for me to be able to teach and them a little bit and understand what's going on in the natural world. Um, and expose them to things they're not exposed to, especially here in Amherst County. We have a lot of resources that a lot of our kids don't know, really know about until we get them up here. So I have fun. They tend to have fun. It's a great day for the kids. So it's just it's just a it's an enjoyable day to have them here on the road. <laughs> I'll hold the cup and come on down. Let's water get in it, take the back of the cup up, and we'll swim right out. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at his eyes. That one's quick. Are we clean enough to drink out of? Probably not. Why would we clean enough to drink out of? Because it's a baby. Who knows what an invertebrate is? Right. Feel your back. What do you feel up and down your back? Oh, it's cold, isn't it? By the way, the water is about 53 degrees. Last one, he was right there. Last one. It's the one just got it. Oh my god, look at that one. That's a big one. That's a big one. There's all kinds of stuff swimming in here. So when you identify these things later, you have to look at the tails. Mayflies have three tails. What do you see up here? You see? Okay. There's a lot of it's trees. Okay, we're in the mountains. Being in the mountains means that we're what? A little bit hotter or colder than being in town? Colder. Colder, right? Because we're up higher. Look at the trees. We've got to make sure we have good water quality. Okay? So all these trees and roots and stuff like that hold the dirt in place, which makes us have good water. Amherst County, every bit of rain that falls in Amherst County ends up in the, well, the water goes into the James River. Every stream in Amherst County goes down through Richmond, all the way down to the bay. Okay? But we're up here. It starts way up here in the, in the mountains of Highland County and Bath County. All the, here's where the river, James River starts. It flows all the way down across the state. Okay? It's the biggest river, in, longest river in the Potomac, the Rappahannock, the York, and the James. And these down here at the bottom flow down to, the, down to uh, North Carolina. It's a cylinder. See all these little numbers on it? Going up. And it starts at what down here? What's this number down here? Zero. Right? And it goes all the way up to 100. What this does, it tells us the clarity of the water. In the bottom of this, if y'all can see, there's black and white little uh, things in the bottom. Okay. That means the water's clear. Yeah. All right. Kind of skeletons. Exo or in, are they inside or outside? Some of them have outside. They don't have like bones like we do. All right. So if we don't have all these in there. Okay, put it behind. Where's ours? 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 Where's 